Hello, it's Dr. Triple Seven, and in today's video, I'll be showing you guys one of the best tweaks I've seen in a long time. This is Clover. Clover is a simple tweak for Windows Explorer. It allows you to have tabbing and bookmarks on Windows Explorer. It does not replace Windows Explorer, it simply just integrates itself into it. So, so by your default, Windows Explorer does not have these, as you can tell. I mean, if you look, you don't have the tabs. Um, Windows 8 does have the ribbon UI, but this is very different and much better. So sim very similar to Google Chrome, it gives you the option of these tabs, which you can switch back and forth um, to different pages very fast. For Windows Explorer, it allows you to switch back and forth between two different locations very fast, making your browsing of files experience much better. It also has the bookmarking area just like Google Chrome right here so it's very cool it works really well and um, it's free it works with Windows XP Windows 7 and Windows 8 now if you want this program you can go to the link below and click the free download right here and it starts to download it's a two and a half megabyte file shouldn't take too long to download once you're done just simply open the setup file up and then click next there is no ads or anything on those lines like that, so you can simply just install. So once it's done, it will automatically open up your new Windows Explorer. Like I said before, this is the same Windows Explorer using earlier, just with the add-on. So for first glance, you can't really tell that you actually have it. It integrates itself very nicely, um, same color scheme, same everything. Looks really good. Now I added some bookmarks for for purpose reasons obviously and it's very simple to use just like Google Chrome you want to create a new tab just press the next tab right there it opens up a new tab you can then go to anywhere you'd like to so use a bookmark if you like and then switching back between them is very nice you can even pull it apart just like Google Chrome and have a separate window and then if you like you can pull the tab again and kind of put it back so it's very similar to Google Chrome if you use Google Chrome and like the tabbing feature, then I think this program is great for you. Nice thing about it, because it's not a new program, there's no learning curve. It's very simple to use. Just click the tab. If we go to the little wrench in the corner, we have some different stuff like help, about, and settings. If we go to settings, we have um, we can import bookmarks, a couple of other small options. We also have the bookmark tab, and then we have a couple different shortcuts. We have control C, which which creates a new tab, control N, which creates a new window, or of course you can click on them, and if you click control D, it creates a bookmark. So to show you guys, I'll go to my documents. Now I'll hit control D, and you can see it goes bookmark added. I ha it looks just like Google Chrome. I can choose where I want it to go, click done, and you can see documents is now there. So now if I wanted from over here, it's all a slate drive, I click documents and switch there. Or if, and of course I can click back. So this doesn't actually take away any features from your current Windows Explorer. Everything still works and uh, nothing's really changed. The only difference is an add-on on the top which is the tabbing feature. So that's about it for um, Clover though. It's a very cool program, very cool add-on. I suggest trying it out. Like I said earlier, if you're used to Google Chrome or almost any other browser that uses tabs, this is no different and it's actually going to improve your um, file browsing experience. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can leave them below. And um, go to the link below, download Clover, and try it out for yourself. Of course, if you don't like it, you can simply uninstall it from the uninstall menu. Anyways, guys, that's about it for this video. Hope you guys did enjoy. And see you in my next one. This is the Hacker 7 and I'm signing off.